What's going on guys? Here um, we're gonna change the fuel filter next. So it's gonna be behind, well under this battery and you'll see right there. So the first thing we do is remove the battery. Yeah. Now that we got the battery out, we have to remove the battery tray. All right, there's four bolts holding down the battery tray. Uh, they're just um, 12 millimeter. I'm gonna use my impact wrench to make it easier. They look like. All right, here's the four bolts that hold it down. I do believe this comes out with the uh, washer fluid uh, reservoir. Let's see if we can wrestle this out of here. Okay, you have to disconnect the, um, the little pump to the electric motor. All right, here we're gonna empty out the reservoir into an old empty gallon and then use this funnel. to side more. Fill up, fill up. All right, now it only has a little bit left. So we're gonna disconnect it. I think I have to replace the sensor because the light was coming on, but this thing obviously had a uh, fluid in there. The actual squirters did work, so I know this is good. Disconnect from back here. There's a connection. This, this sensor plugs into right back. Here, there's a little connector I'll show you guys this connector right here as you can see these two follow right up here up oh, some little but yeah connects right there we'll unplug this then that's that so now that we unplugged it Pull it on, take this out of the way. Probably clean this up, it's kind of rusty, but. Yep. And then the fuel filter's right here. Down there, there's a hard line. Let me see if I got my light. There we go. Let's see that down there, so you guys can see. Down here, there's a hard line. I have to disconnect it from right there. And up here is a. Another line I have to disconnect. This top one is going to be a 19. Crack that loose. Oh, crap. There we go. There's the bolt. 
These are one time use, so I have new ones to put in. Put one here, do the fitting, and one there, another on the bottom side. Correct. To tie this up. This um, this big fitting you have to hold. This is gonna be a 19. Why you loosen this uh, 14 millimeter? I have this uh, cheap old flare nut wrench, so I don't to lessen the chance of me rounding off this fitting. Okay, that's not good. I think I started to round the thing off. I'm gonna use a flare nut wrench for both, pretty much, but. This is so cheap that it actually spreads when I put torque on it. So I'm just gonna use a, a regular one that doesn't spread. There you go. So I cracked it loose. All right, I'm gonna tie this fuel line up here because it keeps falling down. Put a zip tie in there. Now I got that all loose, it's out of the fitting. Now there's just two bolts holding this bracket on that's holding the fuel filter on and uh, we'll get those out. Here we go. one get my tool in here there you go Fuel. There's a bolt. Here's the fuel filter. It's dripping fuel all over the place. Next up, to put the new one in there. I don't know if you can tell, but that color is nasty there. See, it's like brown. All right, now here's the filter. I'm gonna pour the fuel out. You guys can see the color. It's brown as it's leaking out. Look how dirty that is. It was more in here, but as I was taking this out, it poured all over my gloves. Yeah, that's old fuel. So, time for a new fuel filter. Before I put in the new fuel filter, I'm gonna blow air through the fuel line coming from the tank up to here to get any gunk or any like any debris out of the line before I put the new fuel filter on because if not, I might just end up clogging the brand new fuel filter with the stuff that's left in the line. All right, as we work our way back to the car, on the back of the car, as you can see there's the, um, washer reservoir I think this is a uh, one of the fog lights that come with the car old fluid I bought the car came with uh, oil and what is this 
valve cover gasket. Looks like spark plug tube seals. And then here's the other light. So we'll get this out. So I'll get this on the trim for the back of the car. And it goes up there. I'll take this stuff out so we can get to the tank. All right, now we got the spare tire out and there's old cover, I guess. Up, hooked onto that. Here's the golden fuel tank. Pretty sure that's the pressure. So I'll crack that loose and put air through there. Push all the stuff out towards the front into a bucket. Try to break this. This is a 19 back here. Get it. This is a 14. There we go. Since he already had this apart before me, it's not that hard to take off. Once I crack this loose from this fitting, um, this just spins. I will twist the hose, so I have to go underneath and crack the another side, so this can just spin out nicely. All right, here we're under the car. This is the fitting we want to crack loose. So I could spin this hose instead of it twisting up on me. All right, so basically, guys, it's easier to break. Well, break this loose, go underneath, and break the other um, side loose, and then just spin it from the other side so it can spin itself out like that. Otherwise, if you just spin it from here, it'll keep wanting to twist back and tighten on you. Alright guys, now after I got everything, you guys can see, but those are like little rust flakes. That's all I got out from the fuel line. Alright guys, so here's the old fuel filter. Here's a new one, new uh, copper washers. I have to take this um, fuel filter off the brackets. I just left the bolts in there so I knew where they would go. It's just this little 10 millimeter bolt that goes through. On the other side, there's a square nut that's welded. So, let's see how we can loosen this. All right, sorry guys, but the I ran out of memory on my phone. Well, you guys figured it out. Just loosen this and then just slip the filter out of the bracket. This little rubber grommet came out of the bracket, but now I, we have to transfer this hard line onto the new filter. That's what we're gonna do now. And there's a nut, a hex nut down here to put a wrench so you can crack this loose. All right, so here's the fuel filter. Got the 19 on the hex side. I'm gonna use this to break it loose. There we go. Copper washer, fitting. And then another copper washer. So time to put the new copper washers on the fitting. You put one here. And then you slide this. Oh, it's gonna look this. Right down the car. So I'll push it to the bottom. And the other copper washer. There you go. Put the fitting, this little notch right here. There you go. Now we've tightened this to a spec. All right, now we're gonna put the filter back into the bracket. Going like this. And just tighten the bolt to clamp it down. Okay. Now it's not gonna go anywhere. Here's the filter with the bracket, the hard line on the bottom. Put it up there. 
I'm going to um, thread this in before I put the bracket, while I thread, tighten the bracket down. All right, now that I got it as tight as I could with my hands, I'm going to tighten the bracket down well, so I can have this tight holding this fitting up so I can tighten the uh, flare nut fitting. Got the new copper washers. Open the bag. There are the fitting. Here's the banjo bolt with the two old copper washers. the new one on, slide it over the fitting, and put the other new one at the bottom like that. Make sure to take off the cap. Comes with the filter. Just thread it by hand. Tight. Now we just have to go tighten the fittings in the back of the vehicle. All right, guys, I took um, just a wire wheel, my little drill, cleaned it up a little bit. I'm just gonna take it off from the reservoir. We'll try washing out the inside to see if it cleans up the sensor, see if it fixes the light or not. But for now, I'm gonna take this off and uh, hit it with primer and just put a couple coats of black just to clean it up a little bit. I know it's not the best, I could have did a better job, but for now, it will do. Put some NICs on these four bolts and um, tighten that battery box, well, battery tray down. And then we're gonna hook up our washer line right here. And then connect our sensor back here. Hopefully it works now. Oh, forgot to connect the the actual pump itself.
I'm going to tighten these four down. Do need a battery hold down? I think that's where this uh, bolt right here go to. Let me show you guys. I think there's a like a bracket that goes across here, and that uh, gets tightened by here. But for now. Take a positive. Put it back on. Here we go. First startup since um, new fuel filter. I'll close the door for you guys. Clutch all in. AC off. Here it goes. Oh, clutch all in. I forgot it has a prime. Okay. Dial for a little bit. Some cool, um, some washer fluid in there. See the light will go away. I think this thing works. Oh wow! I think it will light up. Slowly up. See, I held it around there, and that's when it started to die off. Let's pedal to the floor. 